Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Inside Spec. I'm your host, Stacey Wanjeri. And I am your co-host, Tevin Weigai. Hi Tevin, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's been a minute, eh? It's been quite a long time. What have you been up to? Uh, I've been, you know, uh, just surfing through the, uh, the internet, mm -hmm. looking for the new um, innovations, the new tech that has come up. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of interesting things. I agree with you. So mm. many launches have happened. Very many. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I, I've also been great. You know, I enrolled into an online class. I'm yes. currently doing online studies and uh, that's going well so far. Okay, tell me about it. Yeah, so you know, like uh, with online classes, yeah. it, everything is, you know, digital. So you have, you know, um, you watch videos to understand the concept and the context of what you're studying. Yes. And then, of course, you know, we have handouts that are given to you by the professors and all. But also for you to... Um, understand the concept very well you might need to get uh to do an extra to go an extra mile you know you can read textbooks or you can read you know referrals or magazines yeah. depending on what you're studying yeah. and it can be hectic yes, yes yeah? It can, yeah yes so i've i've realized that there is actually a better way to study and, and make notes because sometimes <laughs> i remember back in high school when i actually dropped history not because that i not because I didn't like history, but because I had to write a lot of notes. I mean, writing is not really bad, but you know, like sitting down and scribbling a lot of <laughs> a lot of information notes can be stuff. hectic. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So I dropped history because of that, right? Okay, yeah. But um, so I ended up doing geography because it, it's less notes, and then of course because of the visuals, you know, drawing mountains and you know the, the rivers meandering, all those all those things. Yeah. So it it was interesting for me. But what I didn't realize is when you go to campus, um, it's more of like history, like for every almost every unit that you do that you do, unless you're doing a very um, like an engineering course where there's too much mathematics and you know um like maths and numbers but that has been my experience so there's this feature it's called um it's a digital highlighter okay so um what what it does is it's called a uh, sip and connect yeah. so you know when you when you're going example when you're going to church or when you're reading a, a, a book and you especially inspirational books or just any book yeah and you want to highlight pointers yeah of what you need to remember so sip and, uh the sip and connect helps you with that okay so it's a very it's it's a very uh small device just almost uh, almost slightly bigger than the normal uh highlighters that we have you know the green yellow pink mm -hmm. almost slightly bigger than that but it's digital so you don't need to you know like when you're reading you don't have to have three yellow here gray green yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, you're, you're the entire <laughs> yeah just uh, putting colors on all over your book because you have to highlight it in a certain time yeah exactly and then yeah. you have you highlight and then what you do again is you take you go back to the same book where you've highlighted and then you scribble that maybe to a different notebook and then you go an extra mile to type that out maybe if you want to save it on cloud or you know on your laptop or on your phone you have to type it again so it, it becomes a very long process but what sip and does for you it um so you highlight it's it's you you highlight just the, like the normal highlighter okay so you highlight it and then it it, it uh it brings out the light um and then when so when you when you're highlighting uh like this it um whatever you're highlighting is also written down either on your phone or wow. on, on your laptop because wow. it also comes along with an app wow. and it's That's very amazing. fast and then uh depending on you know it's it, it, it also has the app also has a, a translation feature okay. so if you're reading a french book and you want to translate it to english or the other way it's very easy because it translates for you okay. so and then you know like it saves automatically and then it's very fast like it picks up very fast so you highlight and then it appears on your on your laptop or your phone yeah. so you save that and then the other cool feature that i like you know when when you're studying 
you just don't study for the sake of studying. You want to study not for cramming. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy, especially when you know you're having exams and you haven't prepared enough. Yeah. So you want to get everything in your head very fast yes, and yes. you know you don't really get time to understand. Yeah. But what this, th what this uh, app does for you, so when you're reading, you're highlighting. So you're internalizing it, right? Yes, yes. And then when it's scribbling in the phone yes. or on your laptop, it, it, uh, it reads it out for you. Wow, so okay. imagine you're reading, you're internalizing, and then it reads for you. So like, there's no way you're going to forget that. Yeah, you, yeah, it yeah. makes you understand better. That's really dope because yeah. you know you're ri you're highlighting whatever you want, and you're mm -hmm. hearing the point that you've highlighted that. So that's double the amount of remembering that you're going to do. Yes, when you're doing it, which is very helpful. And it saves you a lot of time. Yeah, it does. I'm sure it does. Man. Like I would really, I would have really wanted such technology when I was in primary school. Yeah, you know. also high school, because also you know the other thing uh, why I, why I like it also is most people like you don't really have especially if you have siblings or friends that you want uh, to hand out books to read maybe if you want them to experience or you know get knowledge of something. Okay. You know sometimes what I get from a book or my understanding of certain concepts when I'm reading a book is not the same for you, yeah, right? So I might end up highlighting, example, if I'm reading, you know, a book maybe like Maya Angelou, if I'm reading her poems, yeah. well, if, as, um, how I get and understand the poem is different from how you're going to understand. Mm -hmm. So I, I might end up underlining a, a, a line maybe like, um, uh, I don't know, example like for Maya Angelou, you can end up, my favorite, like my favorite quotes of all time, is you know, be some uh, someone else's cloud. Mm -hmm. I mean, be uh, a rainbow is someone else's cloud, right? So it's it's in my Angelus, but it's in a poem. But when you read that poem, you might end up picking something else. Yeah, you see. Yeah. So I've highlighted be a rainbow is someone else's cloud. Maybe you'll highlight something else. So instead of you know, datifying the book. I think it's you can pass down the books to generations and generations, you know, without because if you highlight, I've highlighted with pink, you've highlighted, and then you maybe you you pass it down to your daughter, your son, your grandchildren, you know, like it brings confusion. So you, because uh, you see when when you highlight a book, when you're reading it, and maybe I'm the one who's highlighted, you're con like human nature, right? You might think maybe that's. That's the concept of the book. Yeah, yeah. So it kills the creativity. It kills the, um, the brainstorming that you might need to put into that book for you to understand it better. Yeah. So it does. It, 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 it erases all those. Ah, okay. Mm. I, I think that's a very interesting take on the way we can study and yeah. the way we can improve our efficiency when it comes to just reading mm -hmm. and collecting information. Exactly. Yeah. Especially now that everything is online, if you're a person who likes to go extra an extra mile, then that's that's a very handy device to have on you. And then it's sleek. Ah, it's yeah, sleek, so yeah. you can carry it everywhere. Yeah. It's yeah. not heavy, you know. And then, of course, we have various um, uh, companies making them, so uh, you have a variety of you know choices to choose from, okay. uh, depending on you know like your comfortability. So like you. You might, if you're, if you're a person who loves black, you know, black is <laughs> is elegant and, and simple. Yeah. You can go for that also, um, depending on, on features that you may want, because most of them come with an app. So depending on what features work for you, then, of course, th it gives you that option. Okay, that's really dope. Um, yeah. uh, it's nice to hear that uh, such technology has come out. Mm -hmm. On my part, um, just uh, before we go for the break, Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to announce that we've just gotten a new Oppo Reno5 in on-air studios yes, today. Yes, exactly. So that's going to be very exciting. Uh, join us after the break and catch this very exciting and very uh, followed through and reviewed properly to specific detail on how good this phone is. Catch See you, you in next. a bit.
Welcome back to Inside Spec. We're at the second part. We're about to talk about the Renault 5, a phone from Oppo, which has just been released. It was released in, on January 7th, 2021. And Stacy is about to tell us about Oppo and the company and what it does. Fantastic. So um, the first thing when I hear about Oppo, the first thing that comes to my mind is the camera feature. Yeah. So you remember when they launched, I think when they started the Renault, the Renault series, um, the camera is the one that was a buzz. Yes. When, when you hear, you know, like Oppo, camera. So Oppo and, and camera, they go hand in hand. But, you know, like the company, let's go back a little bit on, uh, when they released their first, their first phone, right? Mm -hmm. It was called the smiley face, you yeah. know? Yeah. And I love the way they, 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 they named their products, you know? <laughs> like the way they've named the um, OS, you know, like color OS. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. really amazing the way they put, you know, they play... Um, around with colors yeah, when they're yeah. manufacturing their phones. Yeah. And, of course, they consider, um, I believe that they consider all, you know, all, 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 all people, you know, from young people to uh, middle-aged people mm -hmm. and, you know, even old people as well. So that was in 2008 when they released the, um, the smiley face. But over the years, they've been, you know, they've been um, upgrading the, the phones the software as well, you know, of course, their camera, they've been doing that a lot. Their camera and is amazing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> also, when the, so when um, the, Find, the Find series and the Renault series uh, w launched, yeah. um, I think that is when they really, the, the, that is when people uh, were more than willing to invest in their products, mm -hmm. you know, because, mm -hmm. um, you know, like depending on the competitors that they've had, so they've put in, they've incorporated the um, the different I the different uh, competitors yeah. to make their products to stand out. Yeah. So we are very excited that today we are going to review the um, Oppo Reno Five, which is you know available uh, now. We're going to dive into the specs, uh, courtesy of Tevin. But before we go to that, remember the Oppo Reno 5F? Yes, yes. So I'd like, uh, it's available now okay, online. Okay. Of course, you can buy it, you know, for 31,999 Kenya shillings, okay. uh, which is available online on Jumia, Kilimall, and Masoko. But also you can get the phone on um, branded Oppo, f or Oppo shops. Okay. So if you're looking for an upgrade, you know, like Reno. A5 is the, is, the, is the phone to go. Of course, you know, if you're also, you know, which Renault 5F is also, this one is a is, a, is an upgrade. It's like a pro for the Renault 5F. Yes, yes, but, yes. you know, you can purchase the Renault 5F on, on, the, pla on the platforms, you know, Jumia, Kilimo, Masoko, and all branded. Uh, Oppo shops, but Tevin, tell us. Uh, what is what is this about this product? What is making it unique? What are the features? So the Oppo Reno 5, I got some time to spend with it uh, a couple of days. Mm -hmm. I got to use its features. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we did an unboxing experience. And in the box, you'd find the basic stuff, for example, the charger, yeah. iPhone, uh, the earphones. Mm -hmm. And uh, they give you a case. They give you a protective case that comes along with the package, uh -huh. which is very helpful because, you know, most people get phone out of the box anything can <laughs> happen you know right. so you, you you put on the the cover you're good to go yeah um this phone is very light it's 171 grams so mm -hmm. you won't have yourself uh, getting bugged because the phone is too heavy or mm -hmm. you're feeling like uh, it's it's too much it's too big for your hands or anything like that yeah. uh, or another thing that they added onto this phone mm -hmm. was the 90 hertz refresh rate mm -hmm. which is um, smooth transitions between apps and scroll rolling so you know you never you don't get that lagginess that some phones have you yeah know? so it's it's really fast it's it's uh, the transitions are quite smooth uh, mm -hmm. on top of that uh, other features that they added was the dual view vi uh, dual view mode mm -hmm. uh, the ai highlight mode and the ai portrait mode mm -hmm. so these are just basic camera modes that they've added uh -huh. so that they can inten uh, intensify the user experience and make it more exciting and creative mm -hmm. um, the phone features a 64 megapixel main camera Ooh. which is quite good with an mm -hmm. f-stop of 1.7 mm -hmm. and then you have your 8 mp ultra wide uh, camera um, then you have a 2 MP macro and a 2 MP mono. Mm -hmm. uh, both the, they feature between 
f an f stop of 1.7 and f stop of 2.4 um, I got to use some of these cameras and these cameras are, are really good. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the best features about them is that they are able to shoot uh, 4K, in, even in terms of image quality, mm -hmm. you're able to get image quality as good as 4K. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's video, you can go up to 4K, uh, 30 frames per second. Mm -hmm. But if you take it down to 1080p, you can be able to boost it up to 600 um, 600, uh, 60 frames per second. Wow, so you can actually play around with the, with the different video features. Yes, yes, That's the video cool. video format such you can be able to know whether you want a, a, a tighter, um, a, a larger file or mm -hmm. with more crisp and detailed stuff or something that is less, um, it, it doesn't it doesn't take too much space in your yeah. computer or anything like that. Plus it's quality, it like, cause I, it like, you, like you mentioned, it's 64 megapixels. Yeah, that's, and you yeah. know, that, that'll give you properly crisp <laughs> images. Um, yes. Other than that, the processor, it comes with a Snapdragon 720G, uh -huh. which is a, a good processor. You'll be able to do anything that you want, whether it's gaming, mm -hmm. where performance is really good, the mm -hmm. GPU is really good. I, I got to do benchmark tests. Uh -huh. And uh, on Antutu, it scored 283,000 uh, as an overall score, which is mm -hmm. quite high. Um, yeah. it's, it just shows that the performance and the graphic quality is really good. Uh, when it comes to gaming, mm -hmm. if you want to bump up the frame rate, you can bump up the frame rate. If mm -hmm. you want to go higher with graphic quality, you can go higher with graphic quality, you know. Yeah. And on top of that, mm -hmm. the charger, which is a 50-watt SuperVOOC flash charger. That's very fast. Yeah, and... Um, it charges your phone from about 0 to 40 in 15 minutes, which is mm. quite quick, you know. Yeah, so yeah? It's, a, it's, a, it's a touch and go. You mentioned something to do with the, six, the, the rear camera being 64. How about the selfie? How does that look The like? selfie camera is actually 44 megapixels. Whoa, uh, 44. Yeah, that's... You know, I'm thinking this phone can actually work for people who love to travel a lot. Also, yeah. we've been seeing, you know, bloggers and bloggers, you know, like doing, um, you know, when they're doing like travel travel blogs and vlogs yeah. so if you're traveling alone and you want to you don't need to stress people like take a photo of me so you can always you know like take quality photos and then how, how is the battery uh, the battery is actually uh, it has a it features a 4,300 4, milliamp hour battery that's which is uh, mm -hmm. it's quite good I, when it comes to mid-range phones that's quite high because you'll be able to go through your day mm -hmm. um, uh, go through your tasks multitask do everything and you'll still be able to have charge at the end of the day yeah. and then uh, on top of that this one this uh, this phone comes as 8 GB RAM and uh, uh -huh. 128 GB internal storage wow. so basically it's it has it's enough 8 GB is enough for you to be able also to also 128 is enough because you see now that people are working from home even people are starting online you know like you don't need to stress about space you know yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. it gets crazy when you try to look for a you know a flash disk or somewhere to store but it's, it, it comes in handy because you don't need all those you know you can download all your documents there even videos because yeah. 128 GB is really big yeah it is and yes. if you want you can add external storage which goes up to 512 GB mm -hmm. which just gives you more storage who doesn't want more storage you know yeah. and ex another feature that they added on to this you know for those people who just like you know, some extra stuff to mm -hmm. make your experience, you know, be fun. And uh, to experience the phone as it's supposed to be, they added air gesture. Air gesture is basically this mode where you're able to uh, use use your hand to be able to scroll <laughs> through <Yeah>. the phone. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and that's cool. Do you, th know, you know, you know now, th now that you're saying that, I remember there's a cousin of mine who, like, he is so much into, you know, devices and technology. So, like, um, he likes to floss. You know, th those cousins are like... So, uh, like, this picture, I, I'm just picturing him in my head. I'm like, the way he would come to, you know, the younger cousins and be like, you know, like, it's so cool. You know, you just do this and then it swipes and you're, you're, insta you're on Instagram, you're, yeah. on, you're on LinkedIn. Yeah. I think um, people should consider, you know, buying the, um, the, Renault, f um, the Renault 5 or the Renault 5F. Uh, the prices are, are affordable and it comes in handy, so you don't need. It's it's it works for students who are actually doing online classes now due to COVID. And I forgot to mm -hmm. add, um, this phone is actually going for forty one thousand, but you can get the five G version at forty six. The thing is, the five G version is not being sold in Kenya. Mm -hmm. It's sold out of the country because you know we don't have five G. But we're yet, gonna come you know. to that. We'll Maybe come it, to it that. will come. We'll come. It will we'll come. come. We'll it will, come. will eventually. We will see it on on, on Kilimal Mastoko and you know and Jumia. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that has been um, the show today.
Um, remember to get yourself the Rono 5F on uh, on all the platforms. Visit uh, if you if you're if you're in town anywhere looking for a for a phone, you can consider that it's only twelve thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. But that's it for today. Until next time, see you then. Thank you.